Hey, what's going on? I'd like to welcome you all to Word of Your Soil. So this video is going to be about two common things that are very impactful to your credit score if you let them affect you mentally. When you're on your credit journey, you want to be focused and locked in. And these two things can throw you off of that. So you want to be sure to check out this video in full, all right? We're going to get right into it. Recently on this page, I did a poll and the poll was in regards to your oldest credit card. You can check it out over here. This is how the poll look. But if you want to participate and find the poll, it's actually located in my community tab on this Water Your Soil page. But on the poll, I asked, what is your oldest credit card? It's an anonymous poll where anyone can answer it. And over 60% of the people who took the poll said their credit card, their oldest credit card is younger than five years old. So it's either five years old or younger because I had the group separated. I had zero to five years, six to 10, 11 to 15, 16 to 20, and more than 20 years. So I had the years separated. And for the most part, like I said, over 60% of the people chose zero to five years, which mean their oldest credit card is pretty young, you know? So if you are one of those people whose oldest credit card is in that zero to five range, as far as the years are concerned, then you're someone that needs to focus and lock in on credit age and making sure you keep those cards in good standing and keep them active. But that poll was interesting to me because over 200 people took the poll and clearly majority of them said they have basically a credit card that's younger than five years old. So that makes me wonder, you know, with their credit card being so young and it's coming from people who are subscribers of my channel or they came across the poll on YouTube because I do have an understanding that the community tab is accessible to everyone, not even just your followers, but everyone on YouTube, whoever the algorithm shoots it out at. So that lets me know right there that a lot of people are just starting out on their credit journey. And that's why in this video, I want to talk to you about two things that will have a negative impact on your credit score if you let them affect you. And that's why I decided to make this video. So basically it's two words and you want to look out for these words because when you see these words, I want it to trigger something in you. And what I wanted to trigger inside of you is for you to realize that you have to be more patient while on your credit journey. As I stated before, some of you are new to this channel and have never been by this Water Your Soil YouTube channel and a little bit of my backstory, I went from poor credit to excellent credit, but it took me three and a half years. I didn't go from poor credit to excellent credit overnight. It actually took me time. So the journey for most people, I'm not going to say everyone, because some people are handed good credit scores from being authorized users as teens. That's just how it works. You know, some people walk into good credit. However, for a good amount of people, good credit is something that they had to earn and they usually had to earn it through time patience or hard work as i always state there are always outliers where people earn good credit from being authorized users and things of that nature however a good amount of people earn it the step-by-step -step way and that's what you want to do because as i always tell people the step-by-step -step way teaches you a lot so one of the things that you want to avoid, one of the words is the word fast, because a lot of times you'll hear that word fast, turn your credit score around fast, turn your credit score around in 90 days, increase your credit score by 100 points in three months, increase your credit score by 200 points in 30 days. And all of those things are cool, which I always tell people, yeah, there are outliers. So I'm sure it works for some people, but it's not going to work for the majority. So when you see something in relation to credit scores that says fast, it should set an antenna off with you. And the same thing relates to money. You know, when you see money like, oh, make money fast and become a millionaire fast and things of that nature, it usually sets off an antenna in some people. Now, some people, they just take it as an opportunity and they hop on it. However, with this credit journey, I'm telling you, the best way to build up your credit score is to build it step by step because you'll learn so much along the way. 
You'll learn what hurts your score. You will learn what helps your score. And that will help you maintain and manage your credit score throughout the years. I started my credit journey at the beginning of 2015, the very beginning. And honestly, everything that I learned along the way on my credit score journey has been beneficial to me. I learned when my score is going to be affected. Like a couple of months ago, my score dropped almost 40 points and I knew it was coming because I have so much experience over the years with my score going up and down, up and down or freezing and staying in one spot or decreasing or increasing that I know when it's coming based on if something happens with an account. So you want to be the same way and avoid the word fast because I know it's catchy. Everyone want to catch on to the word fast. They're like, if I could improve my credit fast, maybe I could go and get that house in three months. And I'll tell you, banks, they pay attention to your credit report. They're not just going to pay attention to your score. Your credit report is also going to be paid attention to and your credit report will reveal a lot. So that's why you want to make sure that you're building up your credit score in a step by step way. You don't want to just do it the fast way because it may end up hurting you on the back end. Now, the other word is similar to the word fast and that's quick. Another thing is quick. Now, when you see the word quick, when it comes to these credit scores, it should set an antenna off just like the word fast because the words are very similar. They basically mean the same thing. They have similar meaning, but they're often used as catch words when it comes to people trying to improve their credit score. People fall for it every time. Now, I just want to make something clear. I want to give a disclaimer because I know some people are going to hit me up and they're going to say, well, the words fast and quick are not necessarily bad when it comes to improving your credit score. And they're right. They're not wrong when they say that. They're not necessarily bad. However, they can harm you and they can be dangerous while on your credit journey because a lot of people tend to think, judging from the outside looking in, that you know credit is just a quick fix. You can just fix your credit quick and you could go out and get the nice big house and you could get a car and you could just do whatever you choose to do and get the best credit cards, the Amex Platinum card and qualify for whatever you want, big major personal loans, because that's what's being spoken about on the internet, social media, and even on here. So people think the words quick and fast mean you can just turn your credit score around in the snap of a finger and you can get everything that you desire. But be careful with those two words because I'm telling you, as someone that it took three and a half years to build my score up, it takes time to build your score up the right way. Will it take you three and a half years? I don't know. I can't say. I've helped people over the years and they turned theirs around quicker than mine. They didn't take three and a half years. Some people took longer than mine. Theirs took longer than three and a half years. I always tell people credit scores and building up your credit report is case by case. It's all subjective. It all depends and it goes person to person. What one person needs to do, the next person may not need to do or what you need to do, your friend may not need to do. So you have to be very careful when it comes to paying attention to those words quick and fast when trying to increase your credit score. Do not be afraid of doing things the long way because I always tell people you're going to learn so much a along the way on your credit journey that you'll be able to not only help yourself, you'll also be able to help others and people who you know. So don't be afraid to take the journey the long way. That's something I love to tell people over here. As you saw in the poll that I posted earlier, more than 60% of people have credit cards that are less than five years old. So a lot of people are new to this credit journey and we're all on this journey together, whether you have excellent credit or poor credit. All of us are on this journey together. No one is better than the other because one wrong move, you decide not to pay a bill on time, you decide not to pay a bill at all, it's going to hurt your credit score. I don't care who you are. You could be someone with an 850 credit score. If you decide not to pay your bill on time, it's going to affect your credit score. So we're all impacted by this and until they make changes, we all have to play this game. But anyways, I have other videos on credit. Be sure to check them out if you are new to this channel. Also, if this video has helped you out in any kind of way, be sure to hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed, be sure to hit the subscribe button. I have all these videos on credit, credit cards and lounge reviews. You want to check them out. All right. This is Water Your Soil and I'm out. Wait, 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 wait. 
Before you leave, be sure to check out the description box below. That way you can have all the credit resources from Water Your Soil. Also, be sure to hit the subscribe button, the like button as well, all right?